Starting tonight, the Port of San Diego is cracking down on illegal parking around the San Diego Bay. Specifically, overnight RV parking is banned in public parking lots, including vans and oversized vehicles. Fox 5's Christelle Kumwe joins us now with when and where the ban goes into effect. Christelle. Yeah, port parking areas along San Diego Bay are one day use, but some people come out here and park in their RVs for days, weeks, even months. And as of today, some oversized vehicles are banned from parking in certain areas. Lucy and Bob Shipley have been coming to enjoy the views at Shoreline Park for decades. We're always happy when we come out here. And this is the most beautiful place in San Diego. They pack up their lunch in their RV and head on out. This one here is about 26, 27 foot long. And for two people, hey, we're in hog heaven with this motor home. But soon many of the designated parking spots the couple uses will be gone. Last month, the Board of Port of San Diego updated parking regulations. 17 oversized parking spaces within Shoreline Park will be converted into regular spaces. In a statement, the Port of San Diego said, the use of these spaces has resulted in significant damage to landscaping and curbs. The port has received numerous public complaints regarding the dumping of human waste and trash in parks, on public landscaping, on streets and in parking lots. Well, I've seen people stay overnight and their, their motorhomes are really junky. That's the problem. The port's waterfront parks and parking spaces are designated for day use and do not have campground services. New signs posted in recent days say vehicles greater than 20 feet long or 7 feet wide or 7 and a half feet tall cannot park here. That's pretty sad, pretty sad. I mean, it, it was all great. We appreciate coming here and just finding a spot and enjoy, enjoying the day and leaving after a while. The amended parking regulations will continue to allow oversized vehicle parking in designated locations, but the port says camping should be limited to designated camping and RV areas. <laughs> Shame you're not over here to the grass and close to the bay. Harbor police will issue written warnings and if violators do not comply, they will then have citations. Live in Shelter Island, Christelle Kumwe, Fox 5 News.